Hello. This short video showcases one of the great new features in Avoca Smart Form Composer 3, which is the ability to build a form once and enable digital self-service on any platform. Let's get started. For those of you watching the video who are not familiar with Avoca Smart Form Composer, Composer is a sophisticated web-based tool running in my browser, which allows me to build very sophisticated and elegant and highly usable smart forms. In Composer 1 and 2, the smart forms we built were based on Adobe PDF technology and would run in Reader. And as a quick review, let's just have a look at some of the features that were available in the forms that you could build. So let me preview as an interactive form. As you'll see, that'll bring up the form in Adobe Reader inside my browser. There it is, newsletter.pdf and I get a beautifully um, rendered form with a, a, a lovely uh, header, uh, titles that are automatically numbered and uh, lettered uh, and uh, styled correctly. Uh, in this particular form I have collapsible sections so I can expand and collapse the sections to make for easy navigation. I have help text that I can hide and show as I need it. Um, I have hide and show logic built into the form so if I select other Mr. as my title um, I get uh, nothing special, but if I select other, I get to type in um, my um, other title. I get um, fields that may be mandatory and also may have business rules associated with them, a uh, different style of hide and show logic, and when I do uh, submit some sophisticated error handling uh, and uh, validation that tells me exactly which fields are required and allows me to navigate to them and type in the correct values. All right. While PDF is great, there are lots of other technologies out there and often it's desirable to render forms using those technologies. So let's take a look at rendering the same form as HTML in a browser. Ideally, what we're going to get is exactly the same form with the same look and feel and the same features. So for example, hide show logic. Let's make sure that other field appears. Uh, the same look, the same styling, the same numbering, everything else should be exactly the same except now we're rendering in pure HTML which will run on any HTML compatible browser. So that's great, HTML is great, but um, sometimes there are devices such as tablets which still use HTML under the covers but tend to render the form in a very different way um, based on their specific uh, user interface paradigms. So let's have a look again at the same form this time rendered as HTML specifically for a tablet device. Now in this case we're going to get a completely different look and feel and a different layout. So uh, in order to fit into the tablet we have a, um, a navigation bar up the front which allows us to navigate to different pages. Um, a different style of form with the fields laid out vertically rather than left to right across the page. Um, next buttons to navigate. The business logic is exactly the same so if I select the title drop down and select other, the other field will appear. But you'll notice that the way that the drop down list is rendered is more appropriate for a touch device. The um, validation is exactly the same uh, as are the tooltips in this case. Um, and uh, error handling is handled in an appropriate way. You'll notice a, a, a different way of handling errors, which is more contextual rather than a list of errors right at the end. However, the basic form data collection is exactly the same and the business logic within the form is identical. What if we needed to render the same form on a mobile device such as a smartphone where the screen real estate is even more constrained? Let's have a look at what that might look like. So HTML for phone. And as you can see, this has got a user interface and a size that is appropriate to a mobile phone. The navigation is a little bit different to suit this size of device. Um, and you can see the pages sliding in there. Uh, we can next and back through the various pages, but the business logic is the same. I have my mandatory field, and again, if I select other, the other field will show up. So exactly the same user data collection experience, a single form design, but rendered appropriately for the device that I'm requ uh, requesting the form from. Being able to render forms for different types of technologies and devices is half of the puzzle. The other half of the puzzle is being able to render up those different variations of forms for the appropriate device at the appropriate time at runtime when the user requests it. Um, the piece of 
uh, Avocus technology that, that does that is Avoca Smart Form Manager. And with a single click of a publish button in Composer, we can publish to Smart Form Manager one single step. So we just generate um, the forms at this point, open up a dialog that allows us to import them into Smart Form Manager. Um, at, I can either update the current template or um, create a new template, uh, click the import button, and I'm done. So when a user requests that form, uh, Smart Form Manager will sniff or detect the type of device and browser that they're using and will serve up the appropriate style of HTML or PDF for them automatically. Once I've uploaded my form into Evoca Smart Form Manager, I can configure my form in order to turn it into what we call a Smart Form app, which has many of the characteristics of a full-blown web application, such as the ability to save your work as you go, um, uh, add attachments to the form, uh, make payments, um, and, and manage it in other ways and provide different experiences for the, for the end user. Here it is living inside the CQ uh, Geometrics sample website. The website works as usual. There is a special um, set of uh, components that you can drop into any page to render forms and display their details, etc. All the business logic is still there, as you'll see, as you're used to. I'll just quickly fill in my email address and submit. And Smart Form Manager will render a, conf a small confirmation page that gives me details about my form, when it was submitted, what my submission ID and receipt numbers are, and allows me to save a flattened PDF version of that um, form for my records. We hope that you've enjoyed this short video presentation on the capability of Avoca Smart Form Factory to build once and enable digital self-service everywhere.